Amazon shareholders, I've called this emergency meeting to address the negative fallout from Prime Day. Now, I know since founding Amazon, I've always tried to be transparent, so please ask me any question you have, and I will answer it, okay? Okay, yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. Bezos, after carefully reviewing the offerings and logistics of Prime Day, I just have to ask, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck what? What the fuck is this shit? I mean, a set of ivory back scratchers? Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I came here to address serious questions. Does anyone have a serious question? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, as a shareholder, I did some deep analysis on this promotion, and I kind of want to ask, um, who the fuck needs a six-pack of electronic pencil sharpeners in 2015? Thank you. Okay. Stop saying thank you after questions. Does anyone else have a serious question that I can answer? Uh, yes. Um, I've been invested with the company since its beginnings. Uh, my portfolio currently is majority Amazon stock. Um, you know, and after going over the deals such as a mustache comb, a toilet brush, light bright, um, I just have to ask, fuck you! <laughs> thank you. Okay, the last one wasn't even a question. Uh, look guys, I kind of anticipated this response when I called this meeting, so I'll tell you what I did. I went ahead and invited our two product managers that were in charge of Prime Day here today, okay? Please welcome my grandma Mabel and great aunt Estelle. Oh, hello, That's who ran Prime Day? Oh, yes, dearie. You see, when my Jeffy told me that you had a bunch of things that you needed to get rid of under the Amazon, I well, let's put it this way. I never met an attic that I couldn't organize lickety split. Um, I'm sorry, but who, what authority do you have to run the biggest promotion in Amazon history? I mean, Young man, my sister Mabel and I have been running garage sales since before your parents were born. Have some respect for your elders. I'm sorry, I'm sorry ma'am. Uh, Grandma, I, I think what they're wondering is why you chose the products you did to feature on Prime Day. Yeah, I mean, who needs a two-pack of shoehorns? Well, young man, uh, you might if you wore proper shoes. Oh, and yeah, what's with your hair hair, huh? Here's a plastic comb, it's on the house. Sonny, we are out $15. Mm -hmm. I'll what? write it down. $15 for a comb? That's ridiculous. Is it? Is it ridiculous? Well, maybe if you used one, you'd get a husband, then you wouldn't have to spend all that money on that oversized tub of personal lubricant for $28, am I right? Uh, I, I don't know oh, what you're talking about. Oh, you don't think that we don't know how to inspect a room when you're not looking? When Jeffy came every summer, I always found his girly magazines. Grandma? I was just glad they were girly magazines. Grandma, come out! How about you, short pants? You have some sort of problem with our deals? <laughs> yes. Is it the two pack of can koozies for nine dollars? What about the orthopedic back pillow set? No. Or is it the Adam Sandler three set of DVDs including Big Daddy? Mr. Deeds and my personal favorite, Click. Oh, <laughs> he is a funny young man and a good looking <laughs> well, No, no, it's, it's not. I mean, they're right. These are great deals. This is exactly what America needs right now. Can you just stop making us feel so bad? Good, then it's settled. That's better now. Who would like some Hydrox cookies and sink? Oh, yes. They're on sale for only eighty-two fifty, and the shipping is free. Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. I love you, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs>